So, hello everyone and welcome. Um, we're here at the IFTD uh, show, of course, as, as you, you, if you've been following, you, you'll know that. And, and here with me is Simon. And, and Simon is one of my long time standing heroes, you know. He, he, he does an absolutely amazing job on, 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 uh, with, with the education uh, and, and, and his videos about fly lines and fly fishing has been really a big inspiration for a long time. So. Thank you so much for uh, for taking the time to, to, to talk about the fly lines. You said the nicest thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really mean them, Simon. So, so um, Simon, yes. what we experience in Denmark is a lot of people um, are talking a lot about the new real lines. And, okay. and I get a lot of questions about the elite and about the premier okay. product lines. And what exactly is the difference between those two? That one's very easy. Okay. The difference between those two is is purely what the core is. They're both going to be on a cold water core for trout lines, but the one difference is that the elite line has very low stretch. You can see you can pull that. There's yeah. literally nothing pulling on that. It's not no stretch, it's low stretch. Yeah, okay. And then the premier one, you have the same length of line, you can see there's quite a lot more stretch. Yeah. So the simple difference is the elite is low stretch, the premier is, is the usual stretch, about 30%. Okay, so so they both have the new coating from real? Yes, if it has it says slick cast, it does. We still have a few lines that don't, yeah. but if it says slick cast, it has the new coating. So, um, what do you prefer? Do you, in your fishing, do you like the, uh, do you like the elite? Do you, do you like the, the non-stretcher or the stretchable one? I'm a technical person. Yeah. I, I, I like the feel of my line. I like the feel of everything happening. And what I like is that when I cast, I want everything to happen that I control. Yeah. And I can do that with a low stretch. With a stretchy line, I, you start moving the rod, the line stretches and fires back and the line stretches again. So you don't have that control. Yeah. I don't think I have that control. When you mend, I like the low stretch because when you mend, it lifts off the water. You lift the line immediately instead of stretching. Yeah. And best of all, Salt water, you grab this salt water box. Yeah, exactly. Because when you're fighting a fish on a low stretch core, every ounce of pressure you put on that fish, you pull with you, is pulled onto the fish. Yeah. Right? Stretch the line. So for me, the low stretch, and the only time I wouldn't fish low stretch, if, if uh, people are interested in this, the only time I wouldn't fish low stretch is fishing really fine tip. Ah, yeah. Want a course, little sponginess in my line. Yeah. yeah. Usually the sense. rod will absorb it. Yeah. But you know, everyone needs at least two, three, four, five lines. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I think you should have stretchy and low stretchy. <laughs> yeah. You heard that from Simon. You need at least two, three, four lines. I can agree with that. And um, I also like the non-stretch one for um, for fishing, you know, sinking lines and stuff. Because because you have a lot of um, you have you, you can you can you can really feel where your fly is, and you always so so for salmon fishing, for instance, I use the uh, non-stretch. Uh, a metered running line yes. because uh, I, will, I will feel every bump on the bottom and, and normally if you hit something on the bottom that's where the fish lies so so for me as well and also if you're if in Denmark when you're casting long I mean to have the non stretch makes it easier to set the hook on long distance so so so, so I, for me as well I like the non stretch really really much there was an interesting very quick story I was fishing into shoots about seven or eight years ago the year we came out with the low stretch non stretch fly line yeah. shooting line and um, I was fishing slick shooter, booming out, fish hook four steelhead, all about it. 80, 90 foot cast, you know, quite a long cast. Yeah. Go out there, hook these steelhead, it jump, come, run and go. Yeah. And I lost four in a row. Yeah. And I'm going, what's going on? How am I losing these fish? So I put on the low stretch shooting line immediately. And as it's a story, but it's true, the next four fish I landed four for four. Yeah. Because the, that when you do set that hook, you just pull it right in. Yeah, exactly. And you, when you've got a stretchy shooting line, you, you lift into it and it just absorbs and you just don't drive that hook. Exactly, exactly. So I'm a huge fan of that for 98% of my fishing. Okay. Yeah, I'm also a fan of, of the lunch stretch. So I think that about sums it up for, for the new, of course, the, the, the new coating is, is awesome. It's slicker. It's it's, it's really smooth, it casts really great, but I think that sums it up for the difference between the Elite Slick Cast and the Premier Slick Cast Real Lines. So thank you so much for explaining that, Simon. Anytime. It was a pleasure. It was so, it was so good. Thank, thank you. you.